Lab TV travels to the Institute for Creative Technologies in Los Angeles, California, to meet one of the Army's coolest new soldiers. I was created for GoArmy.com by Next IT, but the folks at the Institute for Creative Technologies transformed me into the moving, thinking, talking, and incredibly handsome soldier that I am today. This is Sergeant Starr. Researchers at the University of Southern California's ICT have taken an ordinary web character and turned him into one of the most advanced virtual humans in the world. When someone meets Sergeant Starr, our goal is really to have them drop their disbelief. We want them to feel immersed in that moment, just as they would if they had met a new, real, live person. They call him Sergeant Starr Immersive, because he's so believable that you get immersed in the experience of talking with him. He hears your questions and he answers instantly, looking you in the eye, breathing and moving, just like a real person. Who knows? Oh, huh. I just had a power surge. It's a lot like a human sugar rush. Can you ask me again? These exchanges are all going on in real time. It's akin to meeting a character within a game environment and spending five or ten minutes with that character. Tell me about your night vision goggles. My ENVGs, enhanced night vision goggles, one of my favorite pieces of gear. I'll give you a quick demo. If you look through these goggles, this is how you'd see me. Ooh, I think I look better in the daylight. Why hide this face and physique? Whenever we begin to create a virtual character, we have to decide whether we're going to build that character completely from scratch or whether we're going to model the character on a real live human being. Uh, for Sergeant Starr, we actually modeled him on Sergeant Greg Smith. First, they took high-resolution 3D scans of his face and body called reference captures. We scanned him so that we could recreate his head with geometry. We shot photos so that we had photos to apply as texture maps to that geometry. Then, the graphics and animation experts turned that information into a computer character and created a collection of realistic movements and animations. So now he looked realistic, but he also had to act realistic and be able to answer questions and hold a real conversation. We need to develop a database, everything the character can respond on, and we need to be able to access an appropriate answer. Is he married? I'm married. Does he have a pet? I love animals, although I can't really have one since I'm virtual and all. What's his favorite food? Hmm, I can go for a taco right about now. Wait, um, sorry, what were you saying? Does he have a favorite color? Favorite color? <laughs> well, I suppose it would have to be green. When you talk with Sergeant Starr, you're looking at a rear screen projection. They use a special kind of screen called a trans screen. It looks like it's a hologram. It really isn't. There's a projector about 10 feet behind that screen that's projecting his image. And we want to project him at, you know, a real human scale. So he's projected at about six feet tall. Where are you currently assigned? Fort Knox, Kentucky. It's where they keep all the important stuff like me and the gold. What do you see as your future assignment? <laughs> well, assuming Hollywood doesn't lure me out of the Army, my future is to become part of the Army Adventure Vans, where I'll travel the U.S. talking about the Army. We've installed him into interactive vans. They are on the road pretty much every week of the year. Sergeant Starr answers almost 145,000 questions each month and he's right about 95% of the time. Hey, that's better than most people. Whoa. All right, y'all, grab a pen and paper. Now comes the quiz portion of your visit. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. To find out more about Sergeant Star, ICT, and virtual human technology, check out labtvonline.org.